I'm right on the border of four states. Right here is New Mexico. Right here is Arizona. Right here is Utah. And right here is Colorado. They say you can't be in four places at once, but they're wrong. Because there is one place in the world where it's possible. Welcome to the Four Corners! <laughs> The Four Corners lie right in the heart of the American Southwest, where the states of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona meet. I'll start my journey in Arizona at the historic Hubble Trading Post, then head to Canyon de Shelly before continuing north to Monument Valley. I'll then cross over into Utah to visit its spectacular natural bridges and Hoven Weep ruins before heading to the Four Corners Monument. Then it's on to New Mexico to visit the Salmon and Aztec ruins before heading to Navajo Lake. I'll end my journey in Colorado at the Cliff Palaces of Mesa Verde. We're on our way to Canyon de Shelly and we've stopped at the historic Hubble trading post. So we're gonna go try and check it out and see what they have, if they have anything for sale or if it's just a museum. And trading posts were built by white settlers so they could trade with the Native Americans. The Hubble Trading Post was built in 1878, making it the oldest trading post in the U.S. We finally arrived at Canyon de Shelly and what a view. This is the second largest canyon in Arizona after the Grand Canyon and this is the park's most, the canyon's most famous landmark and most beautiful area and that enormous 750 foot sandstone spire is called Spider Rock. Not exactly sure why, but it is quite something. Absolutely beautiful. We have two horses three, down there. Three. I I only see two. Two bronze over. Okay, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have three horses down there in that canyon. Might be kind of hard to see though, but there's one white one in the riverbed and two brown ones to the right of that. Cool. Oh, oh not bad. I nice. know oh, these aren't bad. How much is this one? Ten. This is um, the holy man, the elk hunter. This is the turtle. He represents long life. He, if the roots were brought to the went, they would pray to the elk god. The corn pollen. Then you use the roots for sugar. This is the kiva where they had their ceremonies. The scorpion, like long ago, someone break a bone, they let it sting it. And uh huh. Then it will get real numb, so I put the bone back in place. Oh, this, this is, is the yucca plant. This is the roots.
down there you can see the ruins of the White House which was inhabited by the ancestral Pueblo over a thousand years ago. The dwelling had 60 rooms and housed around a hundred people. Canyon de Shelley has been the home of the Navajo people for hundreds of years. But in 1805, the canyon was invaded by Lieutenant Antonio Narbona. Then in 1863, Colonel Kit Carson sent troops to both ends of the canyon to defeat the Navajo population. After surrendering to Colonel Carson, the Navajo were moved to Bosque Redondo in New Mexico. Today the canyon is a national monument, but the surrounding land has been returned to the Navajo. Yeah, maybe he's camera shy. Today was a good day. We visit. Okay, so we were originally planning to head a little further today up towards Monument Valley and the camp up there, but we greatly underestimated how long it would take us to get there. And it was getting late, and we realized that before we set up camp. And when we got there, it would already be dark, so we decided to just camp here for the night in the Navajo Reservation, just outside Canyon de Shelley National Monument. And, and then tomorrow we'll head up towards Monument Valley. And this campground only cost us ten dollars for one night so that's a heck of a good deal well <laughs> but it doesn't have too many utilities only water but for one night it'll do the next morning i leave canyon de shelley and head north to monument valley on the first part of the journey i was looking at all the and things there were sand and hills and rain the first thing i met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds the heat was hot and the ground was dry but the air was full of sound i've been through the desert on a horse with no name it felt good to be out finally here this is it monument valley the symbol of the american wild west where john wayne filmed many of his westerns wow what an amazing sight
last shot of this beautiful symbol of the West, and we're off to our next destination. I'm now continuing my journey to Natural Bridges National Monument, traveling on one of the most dangerous roads in the country. We're on our way to Natural Bridges. We've stopped at Goosenecks State Park, at Goosenecks Bend. This wasn't in our original plans, but as you know, a lot of stuff we see isn't, but it was worth going a few miles out of the way, because this is really spectacular. What this is, is basically a series of about four bends in the San Juan River. I expected there to be only one bend. I didn't expect there to be so many of them. What an amazing sight. Definitely worth going a few miles out of the way to see. We have to now get on the top of this mess. I know how we're gonna do it, but we have to do it. No other way. Are we really going up there? Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. oh man! Oh, that's where we just came from. I wasn't expecting this. Whoa. And the rock fell down. Oh, and his gravel is already okay. Oh my god. I told you, Brian, we had to get on top of the mesa, but we almost I dead. thought you were kidding. We are almost dead. I wasn't expecting this at all. See, you're, my, you're almost... Oh! oh my God. Oh, these guys will... We might! Did you see that? I got some really great footage there. Welcome to Utah. Wow. I guess we're going there somewhere. Uh... 